Hey there, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ethan. For those of you that do, I may or may not still be, be Ethan. You know, I may or may not be. Who are you to know? It's for me to know. And for you. Anyways, today, probably gonna be another fairly quick video, you know, uh, just kind of touching back on, you know, uh, yesterday's topic about embracing change and initiating change within yourself, within your environment, so on and so forth. Um, so I will admit that, you know, it has been a very lengthy process and there have been a lot of moments that have potentially induced uh, some worry or anxiety, right? Or that could have, at least. I, I won't say that they did because I feel fine. But there are moments that do kind of ignite just a flicker of a thought in my head of, oh, this has the potential to be really stressful or really anxiety inducing. You know, like, <clears throat> not to go too much into detail, but moments where you start to wonder, oh, am I going to be able to afford to provide for myself this month even, you know, or like, will I be able to cover all of my bills for the next month, you know, because of certain things that may or may not occur whatever what have you and you know when you find yourself in a place where you you're not really sure what the next couple of days or weeks or even the next month is looking like and things seem like they could be really stressful trying to find yourself in a place where you don't allow it to stress you out you know and you just kind of understand that it is what it is you know, you can't sit there worrying about it. You can't sit there stressing about it because that's not going to help. It's not going to be productive. So it's best to try to just do what you can in order to handle the situation as best as you can. But without allowing it to really, really stress you out to the point where you become crippled by your stress or anxiety. Um... Plus, you know, the men in my family apparently have a history of strokes. And I have a history with stress. <laughs> so I've really been trying to focus on mitigating the amount that I allow myself to be stressed. So as to prevent me potentially having a stroke. And I, I feel as though I've been doing pretty well. And... So I guess the main thing that I will say that has been helping me a lot, it might not work for everybody. And obviously it takes work to reach this point. You're not going to be able to just do it automatically. If you are, kudos to you. That's a superpower. But what's been working for me a lot is genuinely just going no thoughts head empty. Like you just kind of acknowledge what's going on, kind of acknowledge what you need to do. Be like, okay, that's what's going on. This is what I should do in order to handle that. And then as soon as you've acknowledged both of those things, shut it off. No thoughts, head empty. Just go about doing your business without a single thing going on up there. It makes it so much easier, you know, to experience without feeling and that's not to say that it turns you into a zombie you're obviously still going to feel all the feelings that a normal person experiences it's just not going to be the ones like anxiety or stress you know um so on and so forth it's just going to be oh hey i'm doing stuff You know, kind of like when you see someone who's like working really, 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 really hard. 
but you look in their eyes and you can tell there's like not a single thing going on behind there. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> and honestly, it's a, in my opinion, at least, a better way to go about it. Just because constantly being in your head is not a particularly peaceful, for lack of a better word, way to exist. So, yeah, you know, just find a way to shut it off as you complete your tasks and, of course, focus on the task and goal at hand, but without allowing it to cripple you, without allowing it to have complete control over you, you know, acknowledging like, okay, this is something that needs to be taken care of, but I'm still a person. I'm still alive. And I am in complete control of it and how I respond to it, and how I handle it, and allowing yourself the grace to know that you're not going to be perfect, you're going to mess up, you're going to make mistakes, you know, you're going to slip here and there, that's okay, sometimes you're going to get burnt out, you're going to need a little bit of a break, that's okay too, you're allowed to, you're allowed to live, you're allowed to experience these things, you're allowed to experience setbacks, just as long as you don't make it a habit, you know, as long as you're working towards constantly improving yourself, then it's okay. You're human. We're human. That probably made me sound like a, an alien or a lizard. I promise I'm not a lizard person. But then again, me saying that probably makes me more suspicious. Either way, we're human. It's going to happen. But just, you know... It is what it is. No thoughts had empty. As always, if you're feeling lonely, anxious, depressed, angry, so on and so forth, anything, even if you're feeling happy and you want to just share what's been going on, I'm always here to listen. Feel free to reach me at any of the social media links provided in my description below. And just remember, I'm always here, 24-7, 365, because you are not alone. You're never alone. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. I don't know about you, but maybe you should look into it. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go for another run. So until next time. Peace.